Hello everyone, I go by the name Grey, and as you can see from the title, I am currently still studying anatomy. <laughs> yeah. And is it hard? Yes. In short, yes, it is hard. And um, just to give you a short summary of where I was and where I am now, I am, or I was, I had started learning digital drawing from about the end of last year and this year around march i started to learn anatomy and uh, starting from around march up to up until now which is august by this time i record this that would be pretty much six months of learning anatomy yeah i probably will be showing on screen like kind of like a reference photo of where i was before i started learning anatomy and where i am currently right now so uh, hopefully you can kind of you can kind of see the progress i kind of made over these six months and i kind of want to just share with you uh how i went about studying anatomy what kind of procedure if there was any there is some something <laughs> i should know that um the progress structural progress that i've kind of went through to learn go about learning anatomy and i also wanted to share some some tips and encouragement um if you kind of do give me the honor of giving you guys advice in any sort of way on this topic but yeah from a from the perspective of someone who's currently learning and is still learning, I want to kind of present this talk to you. Um, and I'm going to guess that it, this talk is going to be pretty long. And uh, please forgive me if I ramble around or don't make sense. I feel like um, this is my second recording of uh, this talk, so I'm hoping I pronounce things correctly enough and won't bore you to death. <laughs> so let me try to move on to the next kind of point I wanted to mention. And okay, so what I mean by anatomy for those who are more new to this is just things like specific muscles like you don't have to learn every single one of the uh, muscles of the human body but in terms for art at least a surface level muscles the muscles that you can see or or maybe some of the muscles that are under other muscles that affect the overall shape and figure of the human body so things like that that's the anatomy that i've been learning the resources i used include mark brunette's art school and if you do not know mark brunette he is a professional artist who has an art program um, it costs money but it is a pretty good art program in which um, you get to learn the art fundamentals and basically it prepares you to um, gain the skills that allow you to be more hireable for if you wanted to go into like um, an industry such as the game industry and then so I've been using his art program and then the second resource that I used is actually from another um, artist. His name is Sung Mu Heo. <laughs> I don't know if I said it correctly. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay, so I've been using um, that artist, artist's course. It is actually a... not it, but he is actually a Korean illustrator, um, which 
I found tutorials about the anatomy of the human body on a site called the Colosso, so I've been using that as well. And lastly, I've been quite recently, actually recently referring to a book by the amazing artist Marcos Mateo Maestre. I hope I'm saying that right. Marcos Mateo Maestre. Specifically, I've been using his Framed Perspective Volume 2 book. Yeah, so those are the three resources that I used. First, I used Mark Burnett's art school program uh, for one because I haven't discovered the, the two other resources yet, but um, in his class, I, I was able to figure out where specific muscles attach to bones and which muscles overlaps another or goes under the other and um, got to familiarize myself with the names of each muscle and other detailed information that he provides such as um, what this muscle looks like when it contracts and what this muscle looks like when it is relaxed or stretched things like those so those kind of details I learned from Mark Burnett's art program and I can show on screen basically during that time what I was doing um, I was being kind of really detailed and specific about studying anatomy and what I mean is I would really be trying to know the exact placement or insertions of each muscle part to like where they're supposed to go. I think in a sense it was a good start but it overall um, I wasn't able to like completely memorize um, the muscles like that. Uh, so I well because of the great quantity of all the muscles that needed to be learned it it is a little bit more harder for me to like get into memorizing like quickly as I learned anatomy from Mark Brunette's lectures for the first few months and I believe it's not just his lectures but probably any lecture that covers anatomy is quite guaranteed to be long <laughs> so so I guess I had a hard time like s staying in my seat and like trying to take notes diligently um, for an hour or two on each lecture um, so maybe that's part of the reason why I took like three months to kind of kind of get through his lectures yeah, I've been using Mark Burnett's art school for the first couple of months mainly and then I found another course which I mentioned as the second resource actually through Instagram um, I guess Instagram kind of kind of analyzed my feed and decided to to present to me an ad and it showed I believe if I remember correctly it showed this Korean illustrator's class and I was just like whoa his art is so cool <laughs> and his name is Sung Woo Hyo which I mentioned before and to be honest if I could duplicate like and kind of download into my brain any artist's artistic skill it Right now, it would be Sung Mu Hale because, oh my goodness, the way he poses characters is like so dynamic and his line work is really nice too. Okay, so I took his class and I found his class was kind of like a game changer for me. At least I felt the most progress or I don't want to say for the lack of a better term or maybe it is a good term I kind of was enlightened <laughs> by the way he explained anatomy and 
I think it did that for me because I familiarized、um, myself with the names of, anat-、uh, of the muscles in Mark Brunette's program. So,、um, for the Korean illustrator Sung Woo Hyo, he simplified the muscles into easier, more digestible shapes and He grouped them into memorizable parts, and that really clicked with me and allowed me to actually memorize the muscles easily.、Um, it also enabled me to kind of look at like reference photos of muscly people. <laughs> and now, when I look at muscly people,、um, I have the capability of not. Just seeing、um, a body as a complex structure, but、um, because I learned from、um, this Korean illustrator,、uh, it, it allowed me to see the human body, which is originally complex, and just break it down into simpler shapes. And I felt like that is like such. A great idea on how to memorize something. You're just breaking it down into simpler, digestible information.、Um, and then, yeah. Okay, so,、um, so now I am still in the process of memorizing anatomy.、Um, As you can maybe probably see what I'm doing on screen right now, and I don't know because <laughs> I'm recording without looking at what specific picture I'm doing. But yeah, so, anyways, after hours and hours of lectures and pages and pages of notes about anatomy, I am really feeling that progress. So, guys. If you're learning anatomy, it's not the end of the world, <laughs> okay? You have hope. You and I have hope. Or at least for now. <laughs>、um, but, anyways, yeah, right now I am memorizing anatomy and trying to get better at it. And recently I kind of went through a Specific process in how I do that, and I kind of want to share it with you guys because when I did it, I felt like it was like a great method to use whenever you're doing something like this. So,、uh, what I did was that first off,、um, I roughed out a geometric ish proportion. A、mannequin of the human male and female body, and after that, I I started to take what I learned from all those classes and take all what I memorized from from those classes and from my notes, and I started to draw the body on that mannequin.、Uh, I started to put muscles on that body and. And I also tried to put the muscles the way it would look like with skin. So, as you can see here, that's what I was kind of doing.、Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I then corrected my mistakes with a blue digital pen and then. At that point, I honestly did feel kind of frustrated because I say made so many mistakes and things like that, but I tried to keep a positive mindset. And then the next thing I did, the third thing, is I then did a drawing off a reference photo to build up my visual library、um, better and kind of give me an idea of what the human body should look like. As opposed to what I memorized. And then lastly, I, after doing the reference photo study and correcting my mistakes, I did another body on the mannequin, 99% from memory. And 
I really try not to look um, at the other bodies that I drew right next to it and then at the end I just corrected one to two mistakes so as opposed to all those mistakes I made on the drawing towards the right I was able to just make one to two mistakes so I feel like this could be a, fe um, a probable way in about practicing anatomy and studying it for anyone who is interested. Um, so that's what I most recently have been doing. Anyways, I hope everything I said made relative sense and I hope it's not too chaotic <laughs> and I hope I am not boring you too much. Um, lastly, I just want to provide some advice and encouragement as a fellow, if you're learning anatomy, as someone who's learning and in that process of learning anatomy. So the first thing I want to say on this point is whether you started learning detailed anatomy like the stuff I learned in Mark Burnett's class first or you started learning a more simplified version of anatomy like like the lectures I took from the Korean illustrator Sung Woo Hae um, I would highly suggest that you, you do both you both do detailed anatomy and simplified anatomy um, because Detailed anatomy provides you a realistic per perspective of how muscles actually look like. Um, it's, it can be really crucial and important, sometimes at least, to know where the muscles attach to on the bone. And definitely do drawings of anatomy based on photo references to build up your visual library. And not only that, but taking the time to uh, learn simplified anatomy, like for example, the muscles of the leg are grouped into more simplified geometric shapes and the muscles of the back, the muscles of the torso, the front torso, um, things like that, it would really help if um, you can somehow find an artist uh, hopefully that you admire and want to and whose style that you want to emulate it'll be really great if you can find some course that can really direct you in, and help you into simplifying anatomy artistically um, because it really does allow you to perceive them as perceive the complex human body as digestible and memorizable um, memorizable and lastly I really want to um, and sorry not lastly <laughs> because I feel like I'm gonna talk still a long time <laughs> Um, I just want to provide more encouragement so anatomy is not easy definitely I certainly feel it because the learning curve is so long and so high I'm six months in and I'm still learning um, but it's really helpful if you kind of come in with the mindset that of understanding that you're not going to fully master anatomy in like two weeks <laughs> I remember like scheduling myself like oh I will I will learn the whole whole and mm, torso in like two weeks or like one week and then I find that I only learned the front part of the torso for example and I'm only and it's already been two weeks for example stuff like that so please do approach it with the mindset that you're not going to master and memorize 
um, anatomy like super fast like that it might take a long time and I feel like mm, I remember someone said like there's only a few real anatomy masters in the world and and commonly like they are masters of anatomy but not masters of masters of anything else um, because anatomy is just like it's like the tip of an iceberg with a long package of ice underneath the water like you have to kind of keep on unpacking but at some point you might not need to unpack everything depending on what your goal is right um, because for example if you want to become a graphic novelist or a webtoon artist which i do want to be the viewers are not anatomy experts perhaps i hope so <laughs> um i guess point i want to mention later is you kind of it's best if you know what your goal is so you feel like you know what your destination is you're not like going deeper into deeper into the rabbit hole and then you don't know where it's going to end <laughs> um so it's best to keep that in mind know what your goal is and since i already am on that point let me go there <laughs> so always have a goal that you want to attain um, is my suggestion and work your anatomy studies toward that goal and i think what i'll do is like show something like that on screen um, for me as i mentioned earlier i want to be a webtoon artist not just any webtoon artist though for me i want to be like one of those OG Korean webtoon artists who can draw like super cool dynamic poses and like like jaw dropping action packed scenes and things like that such as um, solo leveling um, if you guys don't know what solo leveling is but you know what a webtoon is you should go read it <laughs> but I feel like a lot of webtoon people who likes web webtoon readers like read that series not series that book already that um that series already so i digress <laughs> uh so not just that i i do have a more specific goal and i feel like I feel like having a more specific goal can help you too. My more specific goal is kind of maybe eccentric, but I do want, like really want <laughs> to give um, female, not really in that way, let me rephrase that. I really want to see more female characters as the main character in the action genre in a webtoon and i feel like and i've seen other comments that kind of really want this as well like there's a lot of really cool male characters that are the main characters of the action genre doing cool fight things and things like that and with sometimes a romantic subplot and I feel like female characters, a lot of them are just put into the light of being consumed by romance. <laughs> and I want something different. I want to give them more justice. Like, I'm not against romance, but I do want something that is more action-based. And romance can be just a subplot, not the main plot. So yeah, that's like my specific goal. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Um, anyway, back to the point. <laughs> I feel like I I went around the bush too much. Uh, let me see... Seeing my progress really made me excited because uh, seeing my 
progress on learning anatomy really made me excited because I did have this specific goal in mind and uh, when I started to apply or work my anatomy studies toward this goal, for example, this piece on screen right here is me trying to visualize what it what it might look like if I ever make a webtoon and what one of the scenes would be and I feel like I made quite a considerable progress from the time I didn't learn anatomy at all to this time where I learned anatomy. Um, I feel like I'm so excited that that the things I draw don't have to be based on a specific photo reference. I can start to draw out of my imagination realistically and I just get so... now that I'm saying it, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like so happy <laughs> that all of that learning is paying off um, and that kind of shows to me in this drawing um, on screen right here. So um, I hope you guys see it too, like, like I'm improving. And I hope I'm not being delusional <laughs> to think I'm improving. So yeah, guys, not all hope is lost if you're in the anatomy rabbit hole right now. Know that whatever your goals are, um, as long as you keep on pressing in, it's not the end of the world. I feel like I already said this already. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, lastly, or two last things I want to say is a quote from, not a quote, but like a saying I heard from another YouTube video from another artist. He said something like this, something like what I'm going to say. And that really inspired me and really encouraged me so that I wanted to kind of share it with you guys too. He said that something like, just know, um, that as you practice something harder, like anatomy, know that a lot less people will be competing with you. The next last point I wanted to make is kind of cheesy, but I feel like it's kind of still worth saying is always keep a positive mindset as you are learning, um, especially when you're learning something hard because it can be quite easy to kind of blame yourself and kind of take it personally when your results don't look that great and for example um, what I try to do is when I do a study of like um, the proportions or the muscles of the human body and my results like look trashy and I shouldn't say trashy that's like the opposite of what I'm trying to say the results don't look that presentable and um, it doesn't look really appealing and good enough for what I was going for. Um, I would like try not to focus on, on thinking like, oh, this is trash, you're trash, you suck, <laughs> you're not an artist. Um, instead of staying on that kind of thinking what I like to do and keep trying to do is kind of approach it thinking hey now now you know what your weak points are and what you should be working on now um, good thing you discovered it now instead of later ha 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 <laughs> so yeah um, I find that keeping it positive really helps you move forward instead of um, staying stuck in one place because try not to label yourself but keep on moving forward with with happiness <laughs> okay so that's pretty much it for this video I'm really thankful if you made it to the end um, this is like my my second video on this channel so um, it's not that perfect but um, I just want to put it out there and keep on keeping that positive mindset <laughs> keep on growing also as a potential youtuber I guess 
so I'm thank you for joining me and thank you for listening to me ramble about this and I wish you the very best on your anatomy art journey if you ever decide to embark on it or are you, you are in the midst of it and um, if you like my what I'm doing so far and you really like to see those ama an amazing female MC as a main character inside an action genre plot for a webtoon I am here for you <laughs> yeah if you like those kind of stuff and you really like art please do consider subscribing I'd be so so grateful plus like if you view this video like recently uh, after I post it you'll be like one of my first couple <laughs> subscribers or something so yeah I wish you guys a good life a good happy painting goodbye yeah